Hey guys, it is freezing. Ooh, look at that. Look where I am. So, I'm on my way to work, so I don't have much time to do this, but I really wanted to swing by and show you guys just how old some of these stones are. Like I said, you cannot read them. It is so hard. A lot of them are ogles. This is from, I believe, 1888. A lot of them are ogles, maples. I think some are even, God, I've forgotten, but look at this. If you want to come to a cemetery, you want to do it around the fall. You can't even read these headstones. You can only imagine, <clears throat> excuse me, how old they are. This is 1858 to 1890. Seventeen fifty to eighteen thirty from the Revolutionary War. Wow. Yes, a lot of them are Reagans. Um Ogles. See the space needle in the background. The, the more, um, I want to say popular one are in the corner over there, so that's where I'm heading right now. Lots of wagons. Normally, usually, I have the whole cemetery to myself. Maples. Walk over here, from what I remember. This is just amazing. I cannot believe how nice this is. I've said it a million times, I am so incredibly lucky and blessed to live here. Minus the traffic. Look at that. Ogle. Funny, Ogle, and right, right down there is Fanny Farkles with the Ogle dog, the corn dog, are sold. Hmm. 
Now, the gentleman who discovered Gatlinburg, or then just Gatlin, Bradford Gatlin, if I can remember, he's buried here somewhere. But it isn't, they, it's not, you can't see it because they're afraid someone will steal it. I think that's just how the story goes. You can see how. And I hope, ah, that music's gonna ruin this video. I believe this is, okay, that's 1931. I really need to come back here early, early in the morning. Early, early in the morning and do this. So Radford Gatlin, he, um, he, he owned a shop where the Mountain Mall was, and not too many people were pleased with him. And the name of the town was, I forget, I forget what it is, but they, they made a deal with him. They said, hey, if, if you, my grandmother's name was Ruth. Oh, wow. I've got to get away from this music or I'm going to get in trouble. The copyright. You can't go anywhere without music playing. But they had a deal. They pretty much said, hey, if you leave town, we will name this town after you. And his last name was Gatlin, and they named it Gatlinburg. And while I'm filming this, I could not think or what the name of the town was. We go this way. All right, guys, so here I am at the beautiful cemetery and I got to talk to these wonderful people from Miami. Hi. Say hi, hi to all your friends Dude, down in sure. Florida. <laughs> Where, St. Augustine or St. Pete? St. Pete, St. Pete, Miami. There you go, so you guys gonna subscribe, right? Yeah. All right, have a wonderful time in Gatlinburg, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. That is so cool. Hey, if I see you there and my boss is next to me, I will get you in there, okay? I get there from 3, from 3 to 9, all right? We, we close at 9, all right? Bye, guys. <laughs> I love this. I love it. We were just talking for about 15 minutes, and I'm filming, and they're like, you're probably doing YouTube, aren't you? I said, yes, I am. So, I love this. So, as I was saying, yes. It was so awesome meeting people. So, it was, the name of the town was White Oak Flats, and they had a deal with the person who Nobody likes in Gatlinburg. So his name was Gatlin. Last name is Gatlin. Radford Gatlin, I believe. And he, they had a deal and they said, hey, we will name the town after you if you leave. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool right there. So he, I believe he owned a couple of stores and a post office, which is where the Mountain Mall is right now. I love history like that. So, yep. From what I can remember, Radford Gatlin. I believe that's 1905. Wow. 19 R. Uh, no, 1904 to 05, not, not even a year old. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is just amazing.
Look at that one, one tree. Man, if that doesn't look like a Halloween tree, I don't know what does. Look at that. Wow. And for those of you who have no idea where I am, the village is down there. And it's right up the hill from where the public restroom is. So you come up the hill and there you go. I'm, I'm really surprised I'm all by myself here now. You would think the place would be packed. It being so close to uh, Halloween. But I'm not complaining here. I'm glad I did this.